Hey everybody, today we're getting deeper into regression lines. We're going to use them to make predictions, we're going to talk about the errors in those predictions, and we're going to talk about when not to use them to make predictions. Let's get into it. This example might look familiar if you've seen my last video. It's a small data set, we've got five values here. And I've drawn a line of best fit, y hat equals 0.19x plus 1.34. Now suppose we get another input value, another value x equals 6. We can use this line to predict what the y value might be just by plugging into that regression equation. In this case we get 2.54. We can plot it on the line. Here I've put it with a blue dot at 6 comma 2.54. So sometimes we make a prediction like that at a time when we actually have an x value that corresponds to a y value in the data set. So for example here, when x equals 3, we actually have a point 3 comma 1. So what kind of error are we talking about? The word we use here is residual. The residual of a value or a point in the data set is going to be the difference between the actual y value at that point and the one predicted by the regression line. So at x equals 3, the actual minus expected is 1, the y value for the actual, the actual y value for the point, minus 1.97, the y value predicted by the regression line. So the point 3 comma 1 has a residual of negative 0.97, meaning that the point lies 0.97 units below the regression line. One very important thing when we're talking about using regression lines to make predictions is that we should only make predictions for x values that are within the range of the data set, or at least the regular range of the data set, the meaty part of the data set. The classical example is um, age versus weight. So age and weight have a very linear relationship, as you can see here, um, for people under the age of about 12. But obviously, that linear relationship does not hold outside of that range. If you give me a the age of a person between birth and about 12, um, I can make a pretty good prediction of their weight based on this linear relationship. Um, that's called interpolation, making predictions based on x values that are within the range of the data set. However, it would be a horrible mistake to try and use this linear relationship to make predictions outside of that range. For instance, if you were to use this linear relationship to predict the weight of a 40-year-old, you'd come up with a value over 340 pounds, which is generally going to be ridiculous. That's called extrapolation, and you should not do it. 